You know what I want to start with today? What's that? Before you even say anything, I want to say something. All right. So Dave and I had a big argument last night, shorter than usual, actually, regarding BCC and the tag team title tournament. And I just want to make something clear here, okay? And that is that I don't care if they're in the tournament. It's not like affecting my life, okay? But the reason that I keep bringing it up is because this whole thing, there's actually a larger issue here than BCC not being in the tag team tournament. And the larger issue is one of the things that drives me nuts about AEW. It's one of the things that bothers me the most. And it really makes me angry because I know Tony knows better, okay? And that is this. If you don't want to beat the BCC in the tag team tournament, okay? If you don't want them to lose in the tournament or whatever reason you have for them not being in the tournament, I don't care, but Give us a reason for it. That's it, okay? Let's say, I don't know why John Moxley isn't on TV. What's funny is everybody on the internet has been telling me why, and they all have a different reason for it, because they've all made up an explanation in their heads. But the fact of the matter is, we don't have any idea why he hasn't been on TV for three weeks. None whatsoever. That is the issue. The issue is, you did a pay-per-view... You did BCC versus FTR. BCC didn't just beat them, but they did a double submission finish over FTR. The moment the match is over, everyone watching thought the exact same thing. Well, they must be next in line for a tag title shot. Okay? Decisive, beat them, double submission, no interference. You could not have put them over stronger, okay? Then Sting and Darby win. And when the show's over, we all think, well, you know, I guess they're probably going to do a tournament and, you know, probably BCC and FTR maybe in the finals is what I thought. Whatever you think, whatever. They announce a tournament and they put up the graphics and there's no BCC. But FTR is in the tournament, okay? All you had to do, all you had to do was say BCC and FTR had a hard-fought battle at the pay-per-view. And while BCC was victorious, John Moxley suffered a stinger, and he will not be medically cleared for a while. That's all you have to do. But they couldn't even do that. Instead, do you want to know what has happened? What's that? John Moxley has vanished. Do you know why I bring up Britt Baker all the time? Why? It's the same thing. One day, she just vanished. And fans do the whole thing, oh, well, she's hurt. Bro, she had a broken wrist for like five months. She wrestled in a cast. She had a bad back for like oh, well over a year. They had that show where she's getting injections in her back. That's not why she's gone. I'm sure that she probably was hurt. But you know what this is? I'll give you uh, John Moxley, multi-time AEW champion. One of the biggest stars in the company, okay? Britt Baker, when she was in her prime, was the top women's star in AEW by far. And uh, one of the top stars overall in the company, okay? Let's make a comparison to WWE, all right? All right. Let's imagine that, like, Becky Lynch just vanished, okay? Okay. She maybe she got a big win. Uh, just say like this past. Let's say they, let's say that they hadn't announced WrestleMania yet, and she beat Nia Jax in a last woman standing match on Raw, and then she vanished. Okay, new ambassador to Ireland. They didn't tell us where she went. They didn't shoot an angle. She just was gone, and they never told us anything. Poof. For a Moxley comparison, remember when Seth Rollins did that moonsault and he injured his knee? Yes. It went on and won the match. Let's just say that after that, he just disappeared. Poof. They didn't tell you that he had a knee injury. They didn't tell, they didn't shoot an angle, nothing. He was just gone. Well, that's what happened to Britt Baker. 
one day she suddenly was gone. John Moxley and Claudio Castagnoli destroyed FTR, double submission on a pay per view, and Carolina. then he vanished. Gone. Now, I know Tony knows to write people off because he did it with Darby. And the funny thing is Darby actually broke his foot, so it was a very effective write-off. But, like, he's done this before, but in other cases, and this happens, it's not just Britt Baker and, and John Moxley. Like, this has happened many times. All of a sudden, someone's just gone. And the thing was, let's think back to, uh, you know, that, that whole thing with CM Punk and the Young Bucks and Brawl Out and Kenny Omega. One day they just were gone. And the weird thing about that is, okay, legal issue, whatever. But, like, when people asked, you know, what's going on at press conferences, Tony wouldn't even say, it's a legal issue I can't discuss. He just wouldn't say anything. If you're a fan that, for some reason, didn't know what was going on, one day you're watching AEW, and the next thing you know, CM Punk is gone. Never referenced. The Young Bucks are gone. Never referenced. Kenny Omega's gone. Never referenced. Where's Miro? That's another one. That's another one. Miro vanished. He was in the middle of that thing with his wife every week, and one day he vanished. And in none of these cases did they just give anything resembling... Like, listen... I know that you have a smart audience, and I know that you want to treat your audience like they're, they're you know, intelligent. That's all fine and good, but it's also professional wrestling. And all you do throughout the entire show is make up stories. You make up stories for everybody. Just make something up. Just say John Moxley suffered a stinger. Say John Moxley's trick knee is act. I don't care. Just say something. If they would have just said something, I wouldn't still be talking about this. Wondering why in God's name, are, and Dave and I wouldn't be arguing about how it's good business for them not to be in the pay-per-view because they could do something later or whatever. Like, just tell us why he's not there. And no, the answer, by the way, is not that he fell off the wagon. There's nothing wrong oh, with what? John Moxley. What? Well, that's what someone in the chat said. Oh, come crap. on. Listen, oh, no. there's nothing wrong with John Moxley. He's just... Not being used right now. He's still booked for Windy City Riot. He's still going to be doing his upcoming dates. So, make something up. Just tell me something. Tell the fans something. So then when they watch the show and they get invested in a character, the character just doesn't disappear. And, like, they're gone. Gone. So anyway, that's why I keep bringing it up. Just tell us something. That's it. What was a unique hairstyle worn by men in the 60s? Pompadour. Mop and conk. Whatever what? that is. I beg your pardon? Excuse Mop me? And Cock and, and pump? conk. Say that yeah, one more time. Nobody else talk. Pop and conk? Yeah. Are you sure, Granny? Read it again. Mev O P. Mop. Comma. Conk. Mop conk. Mop conk? Conk. C O N K. Okay. Look okay. it up. All right. Mop conk. Mop conk. That's two different things. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Duh. <laughs> Why is she mad at us? Because <laughs> we're idiots. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.